Dynamic keyword insertion or DKI for those in the know is nothing new in Google Ads. In fact, dynamically inserted headlines have been available in Google Ads since 2011. But even though dynamic keyword insertion has been around for all of that time, it has become more and more important, especially over the past 12 months. And it's become so important that for me, every single one of my Google search campaign ads use DKI. So they have at least one headline that is using that dynamic keyword insertion functionality. So if you're not using DKI right now, the big question is, why? And for those that are already lost and have no idea what I'm talking about, DKI is a tool that you can use in Google Ads, which as the name suggests, dynamically inserts the keyword that triggered your ad into the headline or the ad copy that the user sees. So to put it simply, DKI is where you give Google a specific rule to put the keyword in that triggered your ad into your ads headline. And the reason for why DKI is such a powerful tool because it's long been known that if your ad copy, especially your first or second headline, can match or as closely as possible match the user's search inquiry, you've got a much higher chance of getting that all important click on your ad. Think about it like this. If you are looking for a beachfront hotel in Noosa and you completed a keyword search, Noosa Beachfront Hotels, and you saw one ad which said Noosa Beachfront Hotels, and then another ad which said Beachfront Hotel Deals, you're gonna be more likely to click on that first ad which said Noosa Beachfront Hotels because you can see in the ad headline the exact keyword that you actually searched for. And so that you don't just take my word for it, WordStream has published data which shows very, very clearly the positive effect that dynamic keyword insertion can have on the performance of your campaign. With them publishing results, that once a campaign had added in DKI, they saw improvements in these three core areas. They saw that the number of clicks that they received increased by 55%. They saw that their click-through ratio increased by 45%. And most importantly, the number of conversions increased by a whopping 228%. So the data is very, very clear that dynamic keyword insertion is a gold medal strategy for your Google Ads campaigns. So now that we can all agree that DKI is an overwhelmingly positive strategy that you can use in your Google Ads campaigns, I wanna now discuss in greater detail why dynamic keyword insertion has become even more important over the past 12 months. This has got to do with Google changing how its keyword match types or its keyword matching works. Because up until late 2021, you as the Google Ads manager pretty much had full control over what search terms would trigger your ads because you had the ability to engage real exact match keywords in that you could give Google some very, very strict rules that these three or these four keywords had to appear in a certain order in a search term in order to trigger your ads. But that is now not the case because Google now assigns its own meaning and that is the determining factor as to whether your ads are shown. Let me show you what I mean. So this is Google's own explanation of how their keyword match types now work. And as you can see over here with the exact match, ads may now be shown on searches that have the same meaning as your keyword. Historically, if you entered in the exact match keyword of lawn mowing service, saying that that's a keyword that you want to target with, targeted within your Google Ads campaign, your ads would only appear if someone typed in that exact keyword phrase of lawn mowing service. If you had it as a phrase match, it would be a little bit looser in that you just needed those three words included. Whereas now, even with an exact match of lawn mowing service, things like grass cutting service, and I know Google gives this example of lawn aeration prices in broad match, but I've seen search terms like that appear in an exact match keyword. And I've even got examples of exact match keywords triggering competitor brand name searches, especially for larger industries. So what does this all mean? In a very practical sense, the core change that you need to be undertaking in your Google Ads campaigns is where previously you would have a campaign that could have up to or even more than 20 different ad groups, which each of those ad groups only having two or three different keywords in them. Now for success with Google search campaigns, you need to roll out a strategy that has less ad groups with more keywords. So rather than having 20 ad groups with two or three keywords per ad group, you would have 
two or three ad groups with 10 or more keywords in those individual ad groups. And in some cases, I've got successful, highly profitable, and fastly scaling Google Ads accounts that only have one campaign with two ad groups in it. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll invite you to another free training video on my YouTube channel where I discuss this strategy and this reality of how you need to use less ad groups with more keywords for success in 2023. But so that you can get the best out of that teaching, right now we need to go through two important things, and that's how to set up dynamic keyword insertion in your Google Ads campaigns, and then I'll also show you through the really powerful results that I've seen using dynamic keyword insertion. But before we get into all of that, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. And to help you get the most out of Google Ads in 2023 for your business, make sure that you don't only subscribe to my channel, but also turn on that notification bell. And to help you even further, I wanna give you free access to a Google Ads tool that I've created for business owners and Google Ads managers like yourself, and it's called my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And this is a checklist which will take you through all of the optimization actions that you need to carry out, and it even lets you know how often you need to carry those out, so you know exactly what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And if you would like to get your free copy right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description. Let's get into that screen share. So what you're looking at here is the ads that have been using for a Google search campaign over the past 15 months. And as you can see through here, these are the top 10 ads. And when we rank them down by impressions, you can see that these two, which we are currently using, stand out because they've got the highest click-through ratio coming in at 16.91 and 12% on the click-through ratio. But more importantly, they've also got the lowest cost per conversion coming in at $35 and $34 with all of the others in that 40 and 50 market with the highest up at $54. And what you can also notice, the clear difference between these two ads and all of the other ads is that these two are the only ones which are using that dynamic keyword insertion. This campaign was running before Google made that switch of going over to responsive search ads. So we had these expanded text ads in here, but we were running these expanded text ads without dynamic keyword insertion. We then went through and started to run some responsive search ads. And then we took it a step further and used these responsive search ads that all also had dynamic keyword insertion. And as you can see from here, the results have been a lot stronger. Once again, in some cases, bringing down that cost per conversion by $20. From where it was originally at $54, we're now seeing that at $34. So this results backs up those results that I gave from WordStream earlier. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take you through how you actually set up dynamic keyword insertion in your account, because it's actually really, really easy. When you're in the section for editing an ad, always you need to do is you need to go into your headline and I'll just go to an empty one in here so you can see I've got this functioning in here already. And in order to get that box appear, you just need to go to an empty headline and you need to type in the brace or the squiggly bracket. And once you type that in there, you can see that this brings up the option for keyword insertion. Click that and then you can put your keyword into the default text. Now we've already got this functioning right here, dynamic keyword insertion. And as you can see from here, look at this first headline. You can see that whichever example we see, we're using a different keyword that was triggered. So you can see these are all the keywords that we've added into our ad group. Whenever a user search term triggers one of these keywords, that's the keyword that pops up into this first headline. So as you can see, dynamic keyword insertion is not only very easy to implement into your Google Ads campaigns, but it is also proven time and time again to increase those all important click-through ratios and conversion rates while also allowing you to get those extra conversions at a much cheaper price. So right now, I want you to go through and start testing using dynamic keyword insertion for your Google search campaigns. And also remember that while dynamic keyword insertion is highly important for successful Google Ads campaign in 2023, you need to make sure that you're not missing out on any of those other highly important optimization actions and to make sure that you're staying up to date and on track with all those optimization actions, remember to follow that link in the description below so that you can get your own copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist. And finally, as promised, if you wanna learn more about how to successfully implement the new strategy which is working in 2023, which is using less ad groups with more keywords, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. 
or if you're already using that strategy and you wanna learn how to correctly go through and split test your ads, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on one of those two videos right now. See ya.